nine. You know, I'm never that. calling another fighter a bum again. You know, because um, the process of getting in shape to fight somebody is just um, psychologically over. Listen, um, this is called an exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. Mike Tyson has fired shots at the boxing professionals who have been discouraging him from making his famous return to the boxing ring. Because it's reality, and in reality, I'm invincible. The former undisputed world heavyweight champion has drifted a bit from his preparations for his upcoming bout against Jake Paul and has trolled his naysayers. Think about the guy you were fighting. The more you hurt him, the more people love you. Oh, that's that's pretty yeah. intense and true, I guess. So when you knocked him out, you were satisfied, happy. Oh, I don't even want to say, it, it, oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. He accused them of being jealous since he was going to get huge financial rewards from the bout which is set to hold at the AT&T Stadiums, the home of the Dallas Cowboys, on July 20th. Let's hear him out. You look like you're on your A game in the video. I, I mean, I do you know. feel, yeah. I don't, I don't think he's faster than me. Right. How hard are you training? Ever since the bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul was announced, a good number of boxing professionals have shared their thoughts on the match, especially as regards Mike Tyson's age and health. While some are of the belief that Mike Tyson, regardless of his age, remains as dangerous, vicious, and lethal as he was in the 80s and 90s, where he reigned as the undisputed world heavyweight champion for three years. Others believe that the baddest man on the planet is well past his prime and the Mike Tyson that fought many years ago is no longer in existence. To them, it makes no sense why a 57-year-old would want to make a return to the boxing ring against an opponent who is 30 years younger. They feel Tyson is making a big mistake by consenting to this matchup and some of them have labeled the bout a sad and disgraceful one. It is to these ones that Tyson has fired his latest shots at. Um, my hallway, I mean, so everybody was worried in America that I'm in mean, Cuba, something was going to happen. And Fidel Castro said, leave him alone. He's just relaxing and he's having fun. So don't talk to him. Don't touch him. And that's the Castro said that. So I just did whatever I want. So this guy saw him in the street. Mike Tyson, what are you doing here? Mike Tyson has tried so hard to convince many and bring them to line in his support with his numerous uploads of training and sparring sessions. Regardless, the opinions of fans and professional fighters about the boxing match have been mixed. Even Mike Tyson's longtime friend Dana White has slammed the bout. Given the heavyweight legend's age, it's understandable that fans don't want to see him compete. In July, there will be a staggering 31-year age difference between Tyson and Jake Paul. However, that's not anything that really bothers the aging legend. Speaking in a recent interview with Reuters, Mike Tyson discussed his boxing return against Jake Paul. There, the former heavyweight champion provided a bit of pushback in regards to his age. In Tyson's view, most fans still want to see him compete. Furthermore, Tyson believed that the boxing match was a winnable one. If he can fight and potentially beat Jake Paul, as well as make a lot of money, why shouldn't he? To Iron Mike, age is just a number. This comes after repeated warnings from doctors and other medical professionals on the risk he runs by featuring in a professional bout. The rules of the match remain largely unknown despite revelations from different sources and professionals. However, Tyson is set to get into the ring in ferocious fashion like he's always done and get the very best of his opponent, Jake Paul. But aside from Jake Paul, he's also come for those who have expressed concerns as regards his well-being for the match and tagged them jealous. I'm 58 and what? I'm getting billions of views just from talking to somebody from fighting, Mike Tyson stated in a recent interview discussing his boxing match against Jake Paul. Everybody, even most of the athletes, they're jealous. That's whack. I say in your prime, you couldn't draw a million people, man. What are you talking about? You couldn't sell out an arena. Who at 58 could sell out an 80 0, 0, 0 seat arena? He continued. Why do you think he wants to fight me and not anybody else? Everybody wants to fight him. All the boxers want to fight him. But if he fought them, the only people that will come are the people that like him. The other guys, their parents might not even come to watch them. That's just keeping it real. They're too boring for their children to watch. It's like watching grass grow. If Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson goes down as a professionally sanctioned fight, it will be the legend's first since 2005. That June, 
Iron Mike suffered a stoppage loss to Kevin McBride after he quit on the stool between rounds. With his latest comments, it is beginning to seem like Mike Tyson is taking the care and concern of his well-wishers for hatred, which isn't meant to be. Many understand that he's so driven with passion and motivation for the fight, and as a result, he's perceiving everyone with a contrary opinion as a jealous enemy. It is expected that Mike Tyson gives the issue a better balance than he's currently doing, as many of his friends and other boxing professionals have nothing but love for him. And their worry is only to ensure that he leaves the match unharmed and safe. What has been confirmed, however, is that the fight will be keenly monitored and supervised to ensure the risks threatening Tyson's safety would be very minimal. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations will oversee the fight, and it's yet to be determined whether it will be a professional or exhibition contest. Telemange, communications manager for the TDLR, explained that fighters over the age of 36 must submit favorable results from an electroencephalogram EEG, and an electrocardiogram EKG, to compete. An EEG is used to evaluate brain disorders whilst an EKG is used to detect heart problems. We can also request additional testing if we think it's appropriate, Manj said in an interview. The commission hasn't received a proposed fight card for Paul vs. Tyson and currently have no details other than the fight date. Tyson spoke so much about making money and getting so many views from the bout. Well, Jake Paul gave some insights into the huge amount he and Tyson would be making from the bout on a podcast. According to Jake Paul, the encounter, which will be staged in Texas and broadcast live on streaming platform Netflix, is set to make both fighters a lot of money. While the respective purses are yet to be publicly released, Paul has said in the past he believed a fight with Tyson would generate $300 million, which is equivalent to about 234, 59 million pounds. This came after he announced the bout on X, saying, My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and the most dangerous boxer of all time. Time to put Iron Mike to sleep. While talking on a podcast about the upcoming fight and the possible revenue they would get from it, Jake Paul said, I joke with my friends about it. I'm like, I'll start eating Krispy Kreme donuts and move up to heavyweight and take on Mike Tyson. That would actually excite me, and that's a $300 million event. So Mike, if you're watching this, let's have some fun. New school versus old school, I think that's something the fans would want to see. Meanwhile, Iron Mike has previously admitted on another podcast with Bill Maher that he would only fight if the event broke pay-per-view records. The former world heavyweight champion further claimed on an episode of his Hot Boxing podcast that he'd be willing to face Paul for $1 billion. Last year, however, boxing pundit Akin A.K. Reyes claimed Tyson would accept a much lower fee for a comeback fight with Paul. The reality is, if there's a real offer on the table, Let's say $50 million or maybe close to $100, somewhere between $50 million and $100 million. If that number is really solid, Mike will come back, Akin Reyes said. It's not going to take a billion dollars. It's a nice way of saying, I don't really want to come back. I'm not going to come back for $5, $10 million. I might not even come back for $20 million. You start talking $50 million, there's going to be a different conversation. There will be no pay-per-view for the fight. Instead, it will be available to stream free with a Netflix subscription. What remains concerning, however, is the noticeable contradiction in Mike Tyson's interview where he ridiculed those doubting his safety and boasted about the number of views and money his fight would attract. In another interview, Mike Tyson was seen claiming he would never risk his health for money. While appearing on Fox News, Mike Tyson discussed the intensity of his training, his safety, his opponent, his mental state, and believed he'll have the speed advantage against his 27-year-old opponent. I don't think he's faster than me. I train every day. I take it seriously, Tyson said, referring to Jake Paul. It's the process of going through the whole day. I get up in the morning and do the road work. Then I go to the gym at one. Then I go to the strength and conditioning guy. Then it starts all over again. Tyson then shared a moment to praise Jake for his journey from comedy influencer to professional boxer. I, I train every day. Oh, I get up in the morning, do the road work, 
then I um, go to the gym at one, then I go to the strength and conditioning guy, then it starts all over again. He's come a long way from YouTubing. Listen, I've seen a YouTube video of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. You know, he's came a long way from YouTubing. And listen, I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come, he's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. This guy is going to come. He's going to try and hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. And he's going to be greatly mistaken. Despite the rumors of 18 Oz gloves and headgear, Mike Tyson has insisted that this will be treated as a real fight. The rumors are not true. Listen, this is called an exhibition, but if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. At almost 58 years old, the legendary boxer explained why he is returning to the ring and is welcoming the challenge against Jake Paul. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. And that's how it is. I was afraid for the Roy Jones Jr. fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54 or 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I confront it. And that's my personality. Like right now, I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. I always believed that adversity or nervousness, it pretty much catapulted me into success. If I didn't have these feelings, I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. Though he seemed the most riled up, as he has been in years with nothing but a vicious display on his mind, Mike Tyson has no hard feelings when it comes to Jake Paul. I will do just that. I will teach him a lesson. But dislike him? No, I don't. I do not have any grudges against him. He's beautiful. And no, it's not from that perspective. This is from my point of view of grabbing glory, you know? Never for money, only glory. I would never risk my health for money. Nothing in his interview was more shocking in his final statements where he said he wouldn't risk his health. Foremost, it came as a shock because Tyson had recently trolled many professionals and boxers who had expressed some fear as regards his well-being ahead of the bout and claimed they are only jealous because he still has the capacity to make more money at such a ripe age. Also, it is shocking because everyone in the world of boxing is keenly aware of how much of a risk this is for Mike Tyson. And in no world would a 57-year-old fight in a boxing match without some health risks and scare, not even after a series of warnings from medical professionals as well. Recently, a doctor issued a warning to Tyson claiming that his previous experience with alcoholism could put him at serious risk. Dr. Stephen Hughes, who is a senior lecturer in medicine at Anglia Ruskin University, said in an interview, the immediate effects may be minimal, the boxer may simply recover, but on some occasions, the effects may be devastating. A subdural hematoma can occur. In this condition, shearing forces cause tearing of bridging veins between the brain and blood vessels within the brain coverings, or meninges, Dr. Hughes continued. Bleeding from these torn veins causes a collection of blood that presses on the brain. This causes confusion, loss of consciousness, neurological disability, and in some cases, death. In older people, the brain tends to lose volume. This lengthens the bridging veins and makes them more vulnerable to rupture. Alcoholism is known to accelerate brain shrinkage and it appears that Tyson has this as a past risk factor. Shearing forces on the brain cause injury to neurons which are the brain cells. But not only the doctor, some high-profile boxing professionals have also expressed their concern for Tyson, the CEO and president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. Dana White also expressed his fears regarding the matchup between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. White has boldly said that he is not the biggest fan of Tyson returning to the ring, especially given the fact he will be 58 years old when the event comes around. The UFC president himself has a history of not signing older fighters to his company, opting instead for younger talent. A notable exception to this rule, however, was 35-year-old Cesar Almeida being signed to the Contender Series 57. But this is nothing compared to Tyson's age. Obviously, Dana White and Mike Tyson share a good friendship, and as a result, Dana White wouldn't want to see such a matchup become real. However, he avoided giving too much away, so he doesn't offend his friend in any way, further proving Mike Tyson's angry reactions to those who have tried to discourage him. 
Dana White affirmed Iron Mike Tyson's displeasure at discouragements when he was asked to share his thoughts concerning the matchup between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. He gets mad when I do this, but Mike is 60. Man, I don't know, but what do you guys think about it? No one cares what I think. It's not my fight. Despite the risk of Mike Tyson's anger and displeasure, Dana White went ahead to express how he felt. He spoke about their friendship, his love for Tyson even as an athlete, and his preference that Mike Tyson avoided such a matchup at his age. I love Mike Tyson personally as a friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. I don't know. Let's see what he can do there and put together a training camp and come in. I don't like to see guys fighting at that age. It'd be a 31 year age difference during that fight. You guys know what I think of that stuff. I don't think so good about it. He then spoke about the streaming platform that will be airing the match between both fighters, Netflix. He had a word for them, however a sad one. He felt their involvement in live sports was rather late and they should have delved into the niche long before they did. Regardless, he gave them their deserved accolades and acknowledged their media presence and significance. I think that Netflix should have gotten into live sports years ago. I think they're late to the game, but they are a force. When you look at the amount of homes that they're in worldwide, the show Reacher, I posted about it. I love that show. I hate TV. I don't watch any TV shows hardly ever. I don't watch movies anymore, but I love the show Reacher. I can watch Reacher whenever I want to. I can watch it when I get home. I can watch it next week. Live sports like UFC 299 you had to watch tonight. As all these massive streaming companies start to get bigger and bigger, they have to be involved in live sports. But more recently, Dana White has sounded more assured after claiming he had a conversation with Mike Tyson's wife. Dana White recently revealed that he has spoken with Mike Tyson's wife about the boxing legend's upcoming fight with Jake Paul, a man 30 years his junior come fight night. However, the conversation White had with Tyson's wife prompted the UFC's head to comment that Tyson is taking the fight very seriously. When talking to Lex Fridman, White said, I love Mike Tyson and I'm not a fan of anybody fighting at our age, but he's a grown man obviously and he's going to do what he's going to do. I talked to his wife a couple of days ago and he's taking it seriously and he's training for it. However, White still recognizes the draw of Tyson stepping into the ring again. I love Mike Tyson, you know, personally as a friend and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Um, I don't know, let's, let's see what he can go in there and put together a training camp and come in and, you know, I, I don't like to see guys fighting it. I think Mike Tyson is one of the most unique guys who have crossed over. Any of the other fighters from his generation have no way of making money without fighting. And Mike Tyson has made a lot of money outside of fighting. Tyson still has that aura that you could be in a restaurant. You'd be like, oh my God, Mike Tyson is here. He still has that aura and energy in a room. He makes lots of money outside of the ring. But I think he ends up getting these offers that he can't refuse. It seems then that White recognized the marketability of Tyson coming back to the ring, but is nonetheless still somewhat hesitant about his age being a factor in the fight. White has also previously joked about the quality of Paul's opponents in his boxing career thus far. Paul has primarily challenged fighters coming into the twilight of their careers, apart from in his loss against Tommy Fury, the only loss of his career to date. On the Pound 4 Pound podcast, White commented, Jake Paul did fight a kid his age and he lost. I just saw this thing on the internet yesterday and I reposted it where it says, if he beats Mike Tyson, he's going to fight with Clint Eastwood next. Clint Eastwood is 93 years old. Previously, the UFC chief slammed Paul for facing a 40 year old MMA fighter in Nate Diaz. Therefore, his criticism of Paul's quality of opposition is not a new phenomenon. Paul took this fight soon after his defeat to Tommy Fury and the former Disney star came out on top via unanimous decision. Rather than just criticizing his opponents, White went on to say that Paul is not a serious fighter. Instead, what he wants to do is make money. White alleged that Paul's followers do not buy pay-per-views, so he has to fight people who bring in an audience who are willing to pay to watch the bout. Regardless of what many of these professionals think, Mike Tyson seemed to have made his decision and he is more than ready to stick with it. It is quite worrisome that Mike Tyson has been perceiving concerned professionals as jealous. However, what remains a fact is that regardless of Mike Tyson's training sessions and sparrings, going into the ring on July 20th remains a very big risk for the 57-year-old. But like the baddest man on the planet has promised his supporters, 
It is expected that he defies the odds of aging and comes out triumphant when he locks horns against the 27-year-old YouTuber turned boxer. That's all for now. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly react by clicking the like button below. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this.